Looks like Peter is thinking about mulliganing down to five. There he goes. Picking his five. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, DJ Jazz was saying they haven't seen Bombardment in a long time. You're not alone. Anne was saying that this deck was something that they put together three years ago and picking it up for the first time after some time on the shelf. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Anne mostly plays uh, Soldier Stompy. That's that's the, the the deck of choice. And then, yes. yeah, uh, Anne was saying she built this three years ago, right? That's what you're saying? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, when I first saw Anne's name on the tournament and I was playing Mandela Stretch, I was like, you're going to make me play against Thalia, but it didn't oh, think it right. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> Soldier Stompy, totally their deck. Yeah, yeah. That's another, that's another example of a deck that you can have a lot of fun with. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, these tribal decks, I think I feel like goblins to a lesser extent because their mm -hmm. curve is so low, but yeah. they do have kind of a fail rate if they don't get to their critical mass of seeing their creature types that have good interactions with each other or what's on the board. But, you know, in theory, the upside of having the synergy of the tribe overtakes that. Yeah, for sure. Fetch and Badlands. Okay. That's on the stack. Gonna get that resolved. It's hard to believe that Faithless Looting was legal in Modern for so long. I mean, it's so easy to set that card up to be just as powerful as Brainstorm in your deck building choices. Yeah. It, it's been out of Modern for maybe two years now? Has it been that long? I think that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. It was Arclight Phoenix and Hollow One. Uh, Hollow, Hollow One. One ruined it. Mm-hmm. There was another combo deck, I think. Right? Oh, Dredge. Yeah. Dredge was yeah. using it. Oh, for sure. And here's the thoughtsies. So it's a graveyard synergy deck. So your choices on what to put in the bin are a little different. We got a double copy of Seder Wife Finder. That's a carrion feeder going to hit the bin, blood gas, and another Thoughtseize. Yep. So it took the carrion feeder. Do you like that choice? I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just Yeah. Wondering. I think you don't take the Seder Wayfinder because it's a duplicate, which right. isn't always true, but generally true. And the blood gas in the bin is exactly where Anne wants it. So. Yep. I guess you take Force of Will here. Or no? You could take Uro and turn off the Force of Will. Possibly, yeah. That's okay, a good point. went for the Force of Will. Uh, two Witherbloom Apprentices in hand. And not another land. So he only pulled off the combo once today, right? Uh, mm, I think that was so in far. game three against mm -hmm. you. <clears throat> and then yep. also had a a game win against you by just casting a whole bunch of spells with the Witherbloom in play, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But other than that, we haven't seen it. Not yet, right? No. Nope. Just uh, against Phil, it was all value. Force on the... Oh, just value side. other creatures. Tarmogoyf and Insectile Aberration. Yep. So he drew another force. Kind of funny. So both players land. sitting on one land. Here comes yeah. the Delver. All right, Delver's pretty good. Mhm. Mm Thoughtsies. Ouch. Oh, Thoughtsies. Oh. Easy pick. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. take that chain. <laughs> Get that out of here. A sigh of relief, likely, for, for Anne after that mm -hmm. one. I think uh, life totals are wrong, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, we've got a few thoughtsies going back and forth. Yep. Till Days, there. and then swing with the insect on apparition. Land off the top. 
No land. Ooh. That's not good. No. So what does this deck do when things are going well? What, what what's the, what's the zombie bombardment's main game plan? Right. So if you are not familiar, zombie zombie bombardment is an enchantment which says sacrifice a creature uh, goblin bombard excuse me goblin bombardment <laughs> deals one damage to target creature or player and with the value that you are going to be occurring off of the bridge from belows and you know blood guest carrion feeder hogak bitter blossom you should be able to between a combination of attacking damage and sacking the creatures be able to kill your opponent in one turn i think one or two turns it's not going to go off, right? It's not going to just kill you in one turn, do you think? Um, I don't think so. I think I don't think there's any infinite combo in here. Delver's still coming in, I'm though, either. and the blood ghasts are standing by for our next turn. They can't block, yeah. so... They can't attackers. block, which is a bummer, because there is the bridge from below in the graveyard. Which oh, yeah. I'm sure Anne would love to trigger. Maybe if they see Cabal Therapy, we could get the engine kind of turning. True. I know Peter will have a lot, uh, a lot of trouble handling, you know, multiple zombies and racing that. Mm -hmm. Can't block, so you might as well swing, bringing Peter down to thirteen. I have him at twelve. Uh, he also said 13. Okay. All right. So here we go. A great uh, pet card for me is the Phyrexian Tower, right? Yeah, Phyrexian Tower. That is a sack outlet. Um, I think Anne might have missed a bridge trigger. Oh, yeah. I think so. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. <laughs> we fixed it. Good. Faith is looting. I'm, I, I guess we might see one of those satyrs get trashed. Yep. Oh, no, that's Hogak. That's pretty good. Hogak, which is only a one of in this deck. I think that's... I mean, either that's a sign that Nan knows that Hogak is not going to be a main win condition... But I was surprised to see only one. I was expecting at least two. That's a good point. Here comes a grave crawler. So if Anne wants to here, we can see a Hogak. Now it can't block, but it's an 8-8. Eight, eight. I mean, that's a much faster so, clock than, be what, fair, than what they have right now. Yeah. Days, right, is, is a thing. True. Do have to play around that? So maybe not time for a Hogak. <laughs> oh, there is a Daze in hand, too, that we know about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I take it back. Going for it anyways. Gotta be... I mean... Maybe Anne's decided that it's beat town time or trying to be more aggressive. Maybe I, I betting on yeah saving the days for a zombie bombardment i guess hogak could just nope. get cast like over and over again but that's true that's true still need to fill up the graveyard a bit here you can't use mana from lands right mm, to cast hogak no yeah so it doesn't it uh, doesn't really have enough to keep things going at the moment no Key cards in the graveyard. We've got Hogak, uh, Bridge from Below, I don't know what that one is. I think that's, yeah, I'm not sure. Faith is looting, Hogak, Bridge from Below, and Question mark. something else. Oh, mm-hmm. Looks like it costs two black. Yeah, so Anne's at three, so gotta gotta try whatever you can get here. Citrus supplier, that could be good if that resolves. Give 
four or three cards in the graveyard. Making a lot of mana. Mm-hmm. Got double black. Sack the Stitcher Supplier, Mill 3. Carrion Feeder. I think it's another Blood Gas. I'm confused because I see it as two words. So maybe it's a non-English Blood oh, Gas. Oh, maybe. Yeah, oh, the Blood Gas that's in play it looks gas. just like it. Got it. Good call, Anubis. Oh, here's a good hit. We've got... Another Cabal Therapy off the top, so maybe we can keep going? Yep. Oh, Cabal but therapy. no red mana. Okay. Is that a scoop? Oh, it's a scoop. Okay. That's a scoop. All right. That's unfortunate. Some better cards, more powerful cards. Yeah. And I think we're, gonna get, we're, we're slowly getting there. Yeah, I was pretty impressed with the Arena Cube to start off with, and I think it's only going to get better with the addition of these cards for sure. Looks like Anne is starting us off with a Badlands. Badlands again. I believe that's a proxy. Yeah, that's a proxy. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Look at the very sharp corners. Yeah. The only reason I ever have proxies in my decks is because they're shared between decks, and then I'll space and not remember that they're in the other deck, and then I'll just draw it and maybe like... <laughs> proxy yeah. <laughs> but now all my decks are in the same sleeve so it's really easy to switch yeah yeah um what was Maybe that oh thought let's see days ponder wind uh wither bloom trop ponder and leovold mm, how many lands take here two I'm tempted to take just the Witherbloom, even though Leovold is, like, a beating. I guess Ponder. the question is, how does Anne beat Leovold? You have to take it here. Um, yeah, Leovold seems really disgusting in this matchup. Um, depends a lot on what's in Anne's hand, if that daze is going to be a problem, I guess. Oh, yeah. Those ponders point. look nice. They really do. All right. Anne went with days. All right. So that might tell us what, what um, Anne has in hand mm -hmm. to some extent, that they and might not on. have a second land. Ponder. Witherbloom Apprentice, uh, I mean, once it comes down and starts draining life to the and, and attacking the, I mean, it's not exactly, I wouldn't say it's a fast clock, but um, things have to get, get moving for zombies. Agreed. Yeah. And then next turn, label. You don't yeah. necessarily have to answer it, but you have to be faster than it. Yeah, you can't just like try and ping one damage every turn and, you know, try to win that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. all right passing i want to see this zombie environment deck go off a bit here yeah let's see if we can have it here we go good start papers looting yep might be looking for the second land right maybe sometimes you just hold it at least in Black Red Reanimator, sometimes you just lead off on it. Depending on, I mean, obviously, if you want to play around days, you're going to put the land down first, but mm -hmm. you're a little picky on your lands in these types of combo decks, I think. Yeah, I'd say so. Let's see what and I do like the kind of fun of lands that Anne has gone with. We have a fun of deck more salvage. We've got the Undiscovered Paradise, and then we've also saw the... There are two, to be fair, Phyrexian Towers, which really helped last game. 
Speaking of, there's a deck more salvage hitting the bin, so that's a dredge option. I like that. You see what the other card discarded was? Was it another Thossies? Not sure. I think so. Or it could be a grave crawler. That would make sense. It might be a grave crawler, yeah. It mm -hmm. actually is a grave crawler, I think, now that I'm looking at it more closely. Yeah. Fetch. Maybe Stitcher Supplier here. Get things going. Yeah, that would be a strong turn two. It's a Bayou. Okay. Maybe setting up for a Seder Wayfinder down the line. Yep. I guess Abrupt Decay could have come in in this matchup as well. Sure, yeah. Shuffle. All right, finally going to see the play here. Okay. Carrying, Carrying feeder. feeder. Okay. Another a sack Second. outlet key. So that's a good turn too. Yep. Decent. Back on over to Peter. He does have that second land. And three unknown cards. Another fetch. So for a while there, Leovold was, I felt like, at least in my local meta, really dominating the... It was kind of like a check pile list. It wasn't necessarily a Del Delver list. Right. Do you know... Yeah. Are you familiar with that deck? Yes, I played a lot of that deck. Like, a, a lot. Yeah. Like an unhealthy amount. Do you think that amount. might come back now that we're post-Snow, right? Possibly, yeah. you see yeah. Leovold coming back? Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't I, like playing against it, but I respected I, the deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't played with Leovold so much. There was, there was a span of time where I would go play Modern or something and somebody would cast an Opt or whatever and I felt like anxiety that they weren't supposed to draw a card. I was just so <laughs> used to Leovold. Yeah, what type of map, What type of meta do you see Checkpile and Leovold good in? Um, well, you know, it, at, at that particular time, there were... You know, the, the combo decks that existed at the time, like the Sneak and Shows and the Reanimators and all that running around. There were Miracles decks without top. And then there were Delver decks with Deathright Shaman. We also had Deathright oh, Shaman. Right. But, uh, Deathright mm -hmm. Shaman. And then it just turned into like outvaluing all the other fair decks using Deathright okay. Shaman and uh, Planeswalkers and. Uh, Board wipes like Toxic Deluge, Snapcaster Mage, um, mm -hmm. and then being a four color Ooh. deck. Ooh, Magus. That is pretty good. Magus. I missed that in the sideboard, but maybe that Blood Moon is supposed to be a Magus of the Moon. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that actually was not in the sideboard, but. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> that works. The players are discussing it right now. Anne is feel saying that she edited it to say Magus of the Moon, but it looks like the save didn't keep. I see. Well, that's unfortunate. And then they're taking a second to just discuss the sad board. Hmm. Let me see if I can see this deck list right now. Let me just let me just talk to them. Quick. Do you think I should? Sure. Um, yeah, no, the murderous cut. No, my, the deck list I sent to Chris has Magus of the Moon on it. Okay, so <laughs> my, my deck list on my end does not have Magus of the Moon. It okay, the literally, I've got the tab open with the link that I copied, and it's got Magus of the Moon and murderous cut at the bottom. Let me I'm see. Like, let me see. Maybe this is my fault. Let me let me <laughs> bring this up here. Because I I imported Anne's deck to. I'll copy the tab again and pop it to you. I mean, it's fine. Um, oh, you know what? You, you win. You win here anyway. But. <laughs> um. I see. I see. So what might have happened is that you sent me this list and then you changed it after I already had imported. No, it no, because I changed the I changed my mind to Magus of the Moon yesterday. 
Okay. Um, so I haven't edited the list. I know I sent you the list with the incorrect uh, okay. link because it was the edit open, but no, I've not changed the list since I sent you the list with that seven digit number. And it's but are, are there the any same. other changes? Or... Uh, so the change that I made yesterday was to put a murderous cut in instead of, I can't remember what, and I don't, oh, I've got the stream up muted so I can go look at the cardboard live. I'm, I'm going to uh, update Anne's deck in cardboard live right now and oh, kind of put it anyway. Uh, Anne wins this game, so we're gonna go. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm, oh, I'm gonna fix the deck list look, now. I'm trying to see, see, I'm gonna look on the cardboard live on the stream, see if there's one other thing that's wrong because I know I changed one other thing. Okay, go, go, charm. Yeah, um, so there's a null rod in this deck which I removed for a murderous cut. Okay. This is the list that I had at like. 24 hours ago or more but i haven't changed it in the four hours since i sent it to you so i'm really confused but okay um yeah. i updated it in cardboard live now yeah. and it should be updated for you peter if you refresh should be yeah mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it's it yeah. super weird does um, it look correct now murderous cut magus in the sideboard yeah, yeah that, that's what it is. Um, yeah, obviously, when I sent a pic, sent from a screen where it's looking visually correct to me, it's a bit weird. All right, cool. All right, uh, we'll get ready for game three then. Cool. Yeah, I would say def I would say definitely. I mean, off the top of my head, right now, I I couldn't tell you one from another just from just from the artwork. I I don't know. Right. Um, yeah, may I don't have the, the cards memorized. Right. Right. But maybe the ones that yeah. are like staples, people will start to see around, just like the Amonkhet right. invocations and stuff like that. And you just start to recognize them over time. Right. That's true. And to be fair, when you are playing live, you can call a judge at any time for yeah. any reason. Um, I know we had a situation years ago where it was like kind of a high stakes tournament and um, Landon's opponent was playing an entirely foreign language deck and he just had the judge sit there and bring up the oracle text because <laughs> he just didn't want to make a mistake misremembering a card. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Because the teeny tiniest words make a difference on magic cards. So. It's true. Turn um, one right. thought sees he's going to get a daze again. Hmm. I guess that means there's no second land again. That's what that tells me. Oh, yeah. But Delver. Oh, no. There we go. I mean, brain, Brainstorm's pretty good here. Brainstorm's... Uh, sorry. Delver and Brainstorm are both pretty good here as targets for Thoughtseize. Yeah. But went with the days. But, yeah. Delver comes down and another Delver comes down. Yikes. That's happened a few times today. And then he, and yeah, and then Peter will be able to, if not nap, you know, luck flip this turn, set up the flip for the following turn with the brainstorm. Though it is nothing but feel bads when you, as a Delver player, brainstorm to try to flip your Delver, and then you don't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> Which could happen in this case because the remaining hand is fetch and Uro, and you see three, you know, whiffs on top. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see if we get a second land here. Okay, there we go. Another thought sees. What are you taking this time? Brainstorm? I think it has to be Brainstorm now. Yeah. Especially with those Delvers yeah. on the verge. And then a uh, carrion feeder, which mm -hmm. is fun. Yeah. I feel like I underrate carrion feeder a lot when I play against it. Not that I play against um, or play with very much targeted removal or anything like that. But it can get out of hand so quickly, you know. Speaking of out of hand, Delver swing for six. Yeah. The surgical, surgical revealed. Flip. Yep. That's a little bit out of hand, I think. Yeah. Oh, good point. Why yeah, put all, everything back in the yard. Feeder good against Terminus. 
Because instead of putting the stuff on the bottom, you could put it in the graveyard and still access it. Oh, yeah. You stack everything to carry and feed her. Good yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of kind of in some <laughs> weird way, some, some sick zombie way saves all your people. Right. <laughs> all right. Uro comes down. Very exciting. Everybody's happy to see Uro as always. Yeah. It's not so bad. Now that Oko's gone, you're like, okay. Uro. <laughs> For now. Yeah, he's fine. Stitcher supplier. Okay. The engine may be starting to go, get going here. Ooh, a braid hitting the bin is a bummer. Yep. And murderer's cut. <laughs> oh, did it as well. Yeah. Not a very good mill. Let's see if we get another sack. Marsh Flats fetch, okay. Uro potentially can escape next turn, and then things will just get really yeah. ugly. All right, and a braid. Okay. Enthusiastic upgrade, it appears. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A braid's good. It, it maybe buys you another turn, but you're right. That incoming Uro is is scary. Yep. Do we know that Peter has another land? Not that we know of, but there is a mystery card in hand, and then I guess whatever's on top. Mm -hmm. All right. Sacking the Stitcher Supplier. Ball therapy, cabal therapy, and a carrion feeder. All right, swing for two. Pretty good. All right. All right, players figuring out life totals here. All right, somehow 19. I was wrong, there. but that's okay. Double fetch and then a Uro gain and then take two brings you to 19. Gotcha. Okay. Right, Tolver comes in. So, any important things to surgical here out of the graveyard? Would you be considering it right now? Hmm. There's no grave crawlers, no blood gas, no bridge from below. I think I'm leaving it. Yeah, I th I, I think it's fine to wait. Oh, here's Leobold, everybody's favorite. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, and he had the land to escape Uro, but preferred Leobold. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Leobold turns off the faithless looting. Yeah, yeah. It also makes the bombardment to the, to the face a little bit less exciting. Yeah. Draw a card every time. All right. What is Anne going to need to get out of this? I mean, some magnificent things need to hit the graveyard. Yeah. A lot needs to happen here. Six life is left in her creature camp block. Looting? Oh, no. Faithless looting is turned off. Yeah, it's going to be rough. It but, is. But... Um, yeah, it ends at six. It's two swings of the insectile aberration. Yep. I could swing with both creatures here and carrying feeder can't block. That's it. Oh, that's right. Carrying feeder can't block. Uh oh. Is that game? What happened here? <laughs> Anne is just remembering that the carrion feeder can't block. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, go. what are they doing? <laughs> Peter's deck with a little value engine slash combo yep. of the Witherborn yep. Witherbloom apprentice. Yep. Showing that it might have some legs. Let let's um let's say hello to the players. <laughs> <laughs> 